Hi, this is Kate from Is Delicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make Mulan. And we're going to make her on a single loom and she's a standing doll, even though she's a 2D doll, so she's not a 3D doll. The little base on the end of her skirt here, which is sort of, I guess, kind of 3D, um, allows her to stand up. So we're gonna do her today. The colours that I've used, I've used a skin tone and black for her hair. I've used this sort of lime green colour, neon green I think it is, for her shirt. I've used a couple of these, it's like a teal uh, for around her shirt here and yellow for her skirt and also part of her bodice. I'm using the ocean blue and a couple of the, now I think these are a maroony colour, um, there are a red of some sort by Rainbow Loom, I'm not exactly sure. But that's what I'm using. I'm also using 4mm by 7mm mini pony beads in black for her eyes. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter. You can use um, bands, it works just as well. So let's get started. As I said, single loom offset configuration which means that columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two we're going to have the open part of the peg facing towards us or the arrow is facing towards us and we are going to be double banding now double banding means you take two bands at the same time on top of each other like this and you place them on the pegs together like that Okay, now we're also going to be using a crafty ladybug technique which enables us to have hair on the back of the head of our little character. So, if you are not subscribed to her or haven't checked out her channel, please do. She's a very dear friend of mine and, and her designs are just fantastic. Very w well worth a look. So let's do the back of her hair. And we're using black bands, as I said, we're double banding. And it does get a bit crowded, um, having the back of the hair does get a bit crowded to do, but I think, personally, um, my opinion is that if you're going to have a doll, you, you really should be doing um, hair at the back of the head so it doesn't look like they're bald on the back of the head. Unless that's the look you're going for. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the back of the hair here. Oh, nice broken band, glad we found that now have been having problems with the Rainbow Loom black bands lately. I don't know if anybody else has, but uh, it's been a little bit annoying. So from the middle to the right, from the middle to the left, I'm going to do two down the back here. Now actually before I do those two, what I want to do, I want to make her some um, I'm going to do some chains to do her hair, okay? So I'm going to take a single and wrap it around my back, my hook once and twice. Now, I'm going to slide onto a pair of black bands, okay? And another pair of black bands. We're going to do this eight times. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and we're going to pop that on this band here, or these two bands here. Okay, just pop that on there like that. I'm going to do another one, exactly the same. Wrap it once and twice and do eight pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oops, come over there. And eight. Now, because I'm only doing three of these chains for her hair, as you can see on the back here, I've got three of them joined together to make it look like she's got long hair. So we're going to add this chain to the other side, which is here. 
And we've got one more chain to do of, of eight. So slide that across and pop that here, like that. We've got one more to do. Wrap your single band and then eight pair. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, and eight. Now, this one, I want to split it between these two bands. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift, keep this on my hook, I'm going to lift this one up here. And I'm going to put one side on like that, okay? And I'm just going to make sure that I have both those loops over. I'm just going to place that on this peg here for a second, like that, okay? Just to keep it, just to keep it there. I'm then going to grab, oh, I didn't get both those loops on, and we need both of those. See how I didn't get the other loop on? So let me get that other loop on. Back here, there we are. Let's put both of those loops on this peg to hold it. There we go. Now the other two sides here need to go. I'm sorry, it's it's difficult to show you, my hand's getting in the way. On this side over here, and you want both of those bands there, and slide that one onto here, and then you're going to replace those bands. I can see I've replaced one, there's the other. It is tricky, all right, but you want that in the middle. So then take this one back up, like that, and we're going to place that one on here too. So it is tricky, but it's going to be like that, all right, and then you can just push this down the middle here for a second. Now, we need to put two more bands here, and an end cap on here. So wrap it once and twice and pop on the end here. We're going to do a crossover band on this one here, or these three here, and these three here. Now, before we go any further, let's loop these in so that we know they're secure. So dig down past that end cap, okay? Grab the two black bands that we just placed for the neck, or the back of the neck, and loop those up. All right, now we've got to grab the two top bands that loop over here to this side. This is looping these in, all right? Then we have to pull, pull this down just a little bit because you're looking for the next two top black bands which loop these in, all right? So that's in here, but it's also looped the back of this braid in here. I know it's a little tricky. Then go down the middle here and find the two bottom black bands and loop up and loop up. Now, at this stage, we can loop these up so that we know that our little braids at the back, at the side here are secure. So dig down, you're finding the two bottom black bands. I know it's a little fiddly, but basically you're going to have one braid attached here on this set, one braid attached here on this set and that middle braid is going to be attached to the back of the neck okay alrighty now we need to do a couple of bands here on the side as you can see you've got this loop this area here all right we're going to push our hook through here so you're at you're just above this third peg in the space between the third peg here all right and you're just pushing down past all those bands you're going to grab two bands and pull back up and reclaim. You're going to grab another two bands, and I've got another broken band there, that's nasty. Another two bands, and you're going to pull through, and you're going to grab, you're not going to reclaim just yet, you're going to grab this crossover band and put it on your hook, and then you're going to reclaim. Then grab another two 
place on your hook, turn your loom to the side a bit, it usually makes it easier, and pull through like that, and then reclaim and put those two bands here on this peg right there. Let's do the same on this side. Again, count down to the third peg and go above the top of it. There's a space there, okay? Past all of those bands. Grab two on your hook and pull back and reclaim. Another two bands, place on the end of your hook, pull back, but do not reclaim. You're going to grab this crossover band here, if you can see, put it on your hook and then reclaim. Then take two bands and pull through, reclaim, and these are going up here, like that. Push everything down we need to put the face on and uh, to do that we are going to use our skin tone bands and we need a bit of room for this because it gets a bit squeezy and a bit tight skipping peg one to two you're going to move from two to three with your skin tone and make sure you don't have them twisted if they're twisted just push your hook around like this to untwist them because if you have twisted bands on the face it really does look rather nasty Okay, so we're going to do our bands here and here. We have th three pair. We're going to do another pair down here. And then we're going to do from the chin to the jaw. And from the chin to the jaw. Push things down. You can do a crossover band right here. Okay, we're going to do the neck. So two bands here. For the neck you're going to do a single band that you're going to twist three times once twice and three times and they go here and that stops these little eyes that we're going to use from falling to the back of the figure the figure's head so however you use your you thread your beads or your bands I do mine on a hook I have a 2.75 crochet dude hook and it's it just fits these perfectly down my 2.75 um, clover soft touch does not which is quite funny but this one really does you can use a metal threader you can use dental floss there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it you can use um, a needle threader that works quite well as well so anyway thread your beads or your bands onto your skin tone and we place across here like this now at this stage you want to lift you split your band in two in the middle here and lift the top part of the band above and sitting on top of this peg. And that then acts as a crossover band for us, which is quite handy. Before we go further, we're going to take our hook and grab that black end cap and pull it up and over onto the neck bands. And that ties the face into the hair, which is really important. Okay, we're going to do one more pair of skin skin tone and now let's move to our neon green and we will do two neon green here and here again I can see that my bands are twisted I'm just going to untwist them I'm now going to use this sort of teal color and I'm going to do two teal down this way and down this way I'm going to do the neon green again from here to here and oops there we go from here to here I'm using two yellow at this point here and then I'm going to do um, let me just have a look what I have here. I think, yes, I think I go straight into the into the blue. I thought I did. I have to check what I'm doing. <laughs> so two blue here. Two blue here. And two blue here. Now we're going to do another pair of blue underneath. Two blue there. Two blue there. And two blue here. 
Um, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. That's twelve of the blue. Okay. Now with the teal, so we've got two, four, six. We're using seven teal. You're going to stretch a teal from the bottom of the yellow up to the top shoulder here, and also on the other side like that. So you have this V, and you're going to take your seventh teal and wrap it around your hook once and twice and pop it here as an end cap okay we're going to take some of the uh, I think it's a, a maroon cut I'm really not sure burgundy or something wrap it around your hook once like that okay and it's going to go in the space between the two blues in the middle so you've got one blue the, the uh, burgundy, one blue. And this is going to be what we would call a cummerbund. All right. Single, we're doing arms. Single skin tone, wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair of skin tone. And now what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to make these sort of little sleeves that are a little bit, the cuffs are a little bit fuller. Okay, so we're going to take, reclaim this, sorry, busy yakking away. Take a skin, a uh, lime green, neon green, slide this on. All right, we're going to pop that off our hook and take two of the neon green, wrap it once and twice and pop this back on our hook. And we're going to slide those over like that onto it. Move it down your hook. You're going to take another two of the neon green, wrap it once and twice and take your end and pop it back over and this little wrapped band that you just made gets moved over like so. All right, so you've got those like that. Now, so that was one, two, three, You can pretty it up a bit. And five. Okay, so that's how I'm doing my arms. Pop that here on one shoulder. Let's do another one. Single band, wrap once and twice. Slide onto a pair. Slide onto a pair of the lime green. Now we'll take this off our hook for just for a second. Take our next pair, wrap once and twice, and pop this back on. Make sure you don't lose it. Slide this over. Okay, and then we're going to push this down our hook, grab another two, wrap once and twice, move, reclaim the end, and then the two that we just wrapped over, move them forward like that. So that was pair one, pair two, we do five pair, pair three. Pair four, pair five, and pop that here on this shoulder. Okay, we're going to use yellow bands till the end of our loom here.
single band for the end cap, wrap once and twice and pop here on the end. Now we're going to do crossover bands, yellow, stretch between these three. Yellow, stretch between these three and I'm using single bands, yellow, stretch between these two, three, yellow, stretch between these three. Now these two I need to be um, doubled over on themselves so that they're quite um, that they bring her waist in okay so my first one is going to be blue stretch it figure eight loop it on itself and we will pop that here now I know that we're going to have to take this off when we flip her little belt over but uh, don't worry about that too much at this stage we're going to do the same with a green one the neon green figure eight loop it on itself like that and one more neon green and I'm just going to stretch it I'm not figure eighting it and put it there like that now we need to do um, a puffiness to her skirt a little bit not too much because she doesn't have this great big puffy skirt but she does have a bit of a, a, a line to it dig down past the end cap here and grab the top two yellow I like to hold the end cap with my thumb or a fingernail just to make sure that when I do that first stitch down it doesn't fly off and hit someone in the face or hit my monitor you're going to loop up the first stitch stitch the first between the first pegs here like that okay now I've been crocheting too much haven't I <laughs> loomy groomied now what we're going to do take two bands and you're going to go in through this space here grab the two bands and pull through like so and reclaim you're going to grab another two bands you're going to pull through that space but you're not going to reclaim you're going to grab the first crossover band with your hook grab it onto your hook like that and then reclaim you're going to grab another two yellow bands, put them on your finger. I like to hold my thumb on the peg that I'm working at so things don't fly off. Drag the two bands through. You're now going to grab the next crossover band and reclaim. It doesn't matter if your crossover bands move a bit, you can put those back. Pull through again. Grab the next crossover band reclaim oops I'm firing my my bands across the room pull through now I'm not going to grab this next crossover band I'm going to reclaim my bands without grabbing that crossover band and I'm just going to pop them here on that last peg that has the yellow band on it I'm going to check that my crossover bands are all in the right place and they are and let's do the other side so again go through this space here two bands pull through and reclaim two bands pull through and do not reclaim you're grabbing the crossover band putting it on your hook and then reclaiming two bands on your hook and pull through don't reclaim you're grabbing this crossover band adding it and then reclaim two bands pull through you are grabbing this crossover band reclaim and then your last two pop on your hook draw through reclaim because we're not grabbing that crossover band and loop it all the way up here make sure that your crossover bands are sorted out see how this one has popped over this peg just lift it over and pop it down there okay and let's get some of these bands out of our way so that we have some space to work in all right i'm going to start digging down here i'm going to grab these two yellow and move up, move up, other side, move up and move up, move my 
hook onto these two top bands here and pull out to the side and loop these in. And then I'm going to replace these like that. Take these two off and loop these ones up and back and then loop up to here. Now I'm going to take this band off, this blue one off. I put it there just so that I wouldn't forget that it needed to be there. But what I need to do first is loop up the blue. Then we flip the red over and then we put the crossover band back. So let's move that out of the way. Go under, you've got the two top loops here, you've got the bottom two blue loops here, you're going to go under the bottom two loops, grab the red band, move it forward, move your hook to the back of the peg and pull it forward like that. Let's do the same for the middle one. Middle one is usually the trickiest one to do. Move it forward and then this end one here on the left and move it forward. Now we have to put our crossover band back and remember it was figure eighted so it's, it's on itself like that. Lift the top two bands and place your crossover band back and then put those two bands back. Lift the top two place your crossover band and put those two top ones back. Lift the top two, place your crossover band and put those two top back. All right, let's continue. We're going to dig down, grab the blue bands and loop up, and loop up, loop up to the green here. Okay, and now we'll do the sides all the way to the shoulders. So here's our first shoulder, or our first arm. Grab both bands, here we go. What we need to do now is dig down past that end cap and grab that first teal band and loop it all the way up to here. And do the same on the other side. Like that. Now, we have this yellow band here, we cannot forget about it. Dig down, grab the yellow and loop up. If you forget that, the whole thing will fall apart. Dig down, grab the green, grab the green, and now we do the skin tone. It's important to do it in this order because you want the skin tone to be on the top so that when you look at her, you see the skin tone ones on top, but you can see that the green ones are underneath, but the skin tone are the ones that we, we want to visualize. Okay, now we're up up to the uh, the face and the hair you need to dig down and find the two skin tone for the neck and loop those up the top two here go to one side and I need to make sure I've only got two not three if in doubt do one at a time loop no I'm getting the wrong ones if they're twisted what I find I do, I put my hook in the in the centre here of the peg and I twist it around the outside of the peg and that sometimes helps them just sort of settle into the right order. I'm going to dig down and grab those two. There we go. Loop those to the side. Let's grab the other two. There we go. Much better. Loop up. And loop up. Okay, so we've looped these up. Now, with the hair, again, I want to lift the top two up, hold them to one side, push my hook down, grab the bottom two black, and loop up, and then replace these. Let's do the same on the other side. Hold them out to the side. Find the bottom two black bands. 
loop up and replace, dig down, loop these all in. There we go, let's get two black bands to tie off with. Push your hook through and out the side, drag that black band to the back side of the peg, reclaim one over the other and pull tightly. I use the back of a metal hook to help me take things off the loom. If you don't have one, you can just use your normal hook. It really doesn't matter. You just have to be conscious of the fact that you have a hook on it and it sometimes can be tricky to get out. But that being said, it's better that it's tricky to get out than ripping this off the loom and risking the fact that you could actually break a lot of bands while you do that especially where you have lots of bands on the same peg you would not be happy campers let's take her off the loom this point you can just rip her off because she's just got two bands on each peg there stretch her into shape okay pull the dress out because you've got these five little rows of sorry columns here stretch her into shape a bit I tend with the arms to lift up and out up and out and I find that sort of adjusts the bands a little nicer I want to dig down here and find that teal band and pull that up a bit grab this and pull that up a bit like so. Stretch her face out a bit. She's got a band here that looks like it's not even, so I'm going to stretch that. It does annoy me when that happens, when one just decides, oh, I'm going to be bigger than the rest. So stretch it into shape. It stretch her, I should say. Stretch her into shape. Now, there's her eyes, this is her hair. We're going to use these two bands. We're going to go through the back of the head between the black and the skin tone. Poke your hook up, grab the end of the bands and pull down. And you're going to hide those bands just at the back of the head here. You don't need to really do anything with them. They can just be hidden at the back. These are her little cuffs on her dress, on her sleeves. Now, I I personally do not like having um, the, the hair sort of just in braids like this. I like to actually tie it all in together so that it looks like it's just one long piece of hair. So with a couple of black bands, what I'm going to do is... I, I sort of stitch up two together, so I flip it over and go through a spot in in the hair like this. And what I want to do is just marry up, like I'm on the outside of this and the outside of this, take a single band, draw it through like that. And then I want to marry up the next spot that looks about the same. And I'll go through like I've missed two there and I'll pop down to here which is two on that one and I'll take another band and go through like this and just as I approximate it I put it back on but then I take that side off I'm going to skip two come down to here yep there's two and I'll skip one and two and come down to here and I'm going to do a little slip knot here. So I'm going to go down here like this and tie a slip knot. All right, so that's two of them tied in together. Now I need to add the third one. So I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to find, say, two. I'll go about here 
and marry it up on the other side of the center one and do two like this and I'm going the wrong way <laughs> I want to be working downwards there we go and then I'll skip one and two to come down here and the same there replace my band you don't have to do this I personally think it looks nicer but it's um, completely a, a choice that you can make yourself and I'm going to go down to one and two it's difficult to see with black bands one and two and I will tie with a slip knot here so again go through and I'm just going to do a little slip knot here so these are the two tie off bands that I have as my slip knots if you look her hair kind of looks a bit straighter now and all I'm going to do with these tie off bands is just hide them up the inside of her hair here so I'll just grab a couple and just put them through the loops in the back of her hair like this just so that they're discreetly hidden they're not going to come undone they're in a slip knot so there we go that's uh, that's how I did her hair you can try and bend it so that it's sort of straightened a little bit as they relax it straightens a bit more you can have a look at this one that's quite straight now so there we go. Now, she's not going to stand up like this, is she? We need to do our little crochet ridge around the bottom. I'm using yellow bands to do that. Turn her upside down with her back toward you. As you can see, you've got these four stitches. There's a first stitch. There's our second stitch. Here's our third stitch. And here is our fourth stitch. Now, each stitch has two sides to it. This side is closest to us. This side is not close to us. Each of these sides has two, two little loops through it. We are going to go through the first two loops. I'm going to zoom in so you can see, okay? These first two loops here. The second two loops are on the back here and we're going to work our way around to get to those. So first two loops and we're going to take two bands and we're going to do a slip knot. I'm going to put through like that and then take one over the other. So you have a slip knot don't pull it tight go through that same stitch again and do a slip knot and one over the other so you've done two slip knots joined together and that's what we're going to do all the way around okay so let's do another slip knot here here's our first let's join it by pushing this one over and above do our second slip knot in that stitch. Move to the third stitch. And here's the fourth stitch. Let's do two in this one as well. Now we move around, and you can see this is what we've made. Okay, and here's our one, two, three, and four for this side. So go through this first one here and we'll do two in this one so this is our first slip knot and join it to the last one go back through so that we can do a second slip knot in that stitch what this is called is crocheting you're crocheting with bands this is a single crochet and you're doing two single crochets in each of these stitches which is actually 
called an increase. Okay, so that was one. Let's do a second one in here. To the third. Here's the fourth. A second stitch in it. Now we're back to the beginning again. Now if you have a look, we've got these little teardrop stitches all the way around. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to again still go through, if you have a look, there's two stitches, two loops here, two loops here. We're still going through just those first two. And this time all we're doing is a single slip knot in each one. So we'll do another slip knot and join it to the one that we already had. And now we'll move to the second stitch which is here. Instead of doing two in each one, we're doing one in each one. Draw your bands through one over the other and one over the other. Here's our third stitch. Let's do a single one in here. One and join them together. Here's our fourth. And just move our way around the skirt doing these little slip knots which are called single crochets on the side you sort of need to flip it to, to see where you're going but don't miss a stitch I'm nearly at the end. This is going to be my last two. Over and over. Now, pushing my hook as if I was going to do my next crochet, my next um, little slip knot, I'm going to take one band, put it on my finger, draw it through, but instead of reclaiming it, I'm going to draw it through the other two loops that are on my hook. Reclaim, do one over the other, and do a real slip knot this time make it nice and tight. You're going to spread this open a bit, just pull it gently so that it forms a bit of a shape here. 
push your hook through you can go through some of these bands at the bottom here and up to the side grab your tie off band and pull it through so that it's hidden at the base okay now when you turn her over you should find that she stands up rather nicely let me push all the way back out again so you can see so she stands really rather well doesn't she there we go there is my little Mulan I hope you enjoy making her take care bye